Hi, my name is Davis. Let me introduce BVCP software which is a web control panel for free BSD Beehive virtualization technology. First of all, we need to talk about free BSD. I'm used to free BSD more than 10 years and I have a great experience with it as with many others, like Linux. FreeBSD clearly a winner in all case related to network and IO throughput. Unlike Linux, FreeBSD has come with power tools out of the box. Beehive virtualization is a pretty new technology that FreeBSD supports. Installing BVCP on FreeBSD operating system is just as easy as it seems. BVCP does not require any third-party software to be installed and does not conflict with most of installed softwares. This is a native application, it's just running on any free BSD box that supports Beehive virtualization. The most of virtualization control panels are a distribution of some kind of operating system. Unlike this one, because this is just a single application. I miss this so much, because in case I have a multi-purpose machine, I just don't want to give up things because of compatibility. The software does not change any critical settings on your system. The software has a built-in secure web server, authentication and role management. What we are seeing now is a front-end, front-end is always running by an unprivileged user. The front end connected to one or more back end through an encrypted channel. Hold on a second. So as I told before, you can add more physical servers into one interface to manage them at once with one front end and credentials securely. The built-in statistics are a lightweight version of our enterprise class monitoring system. It's showing basic usage statistics and the framework status. The software has integrated SMTP server, but you can add yours in the configuration file. The SMTP server has one feature, sending an email about login attempts. Use the navigation menu on the left side. There are two type of role, an administrator and an user. The administrator have all privileges. The user only have permission to manage his own virtual machines, but not to reconfigure their resources. In the network section, you should configure your virtual network cards. You can create a virtual switch with one dedicated interface. This is the default configuration, but the software allows you to create your own network. Because FreeBSD has professional network utilities built in, I don't think so that we should integrate such features into this application. If you want more complex network solution, you could rely on FreeBSD itself. Storage management is easy. You can add your own storage on your existing mount points. The software only allows mount points to be used. To avoid any interference with other applications, the BBCP always uses a special folder for data store on the root of the mount point. Please note that when you delete a storage, the files in it won't be deleted automatically. This is a safe mechanism Here is the best part, the virtual machines. Three buttons, details, display console, shutdown request. In the detailed view, in the left you can see the virtual machine state and commands. There are multiple ways to stop or shut down the virtual machines. In the bottom, we see a simple event log or journal and a note which is very useful to write thoughts into it. On the right panel, we see the virtual machine parameters. We can change that by clicking on it, but only if we have a privilege. Changing a parameter when the virtual machine running is not possible. Therefore, the change will be applied on the next power cycle. There are many options like import disks, attach ISO images, manage network interfaces, adjust display resolution, assign user, rename, and so on and just one click and we can see the virtual machine display through VNC. 
The VNC is always encapsulated into TLS channel, do, it is an unsecured protocol by default. This is a little interesting, do, in fact, the VNC could come from different machine. But the software always use front-end as a proxy in case. The more security layers adds a bit more latency. This VNC console should be used, only as a secondary management. There are some, limitation, such as only one connection could be possible on VNC, on same virtual machine. This is comes from Beehive itself. You could request a display, from shortcut by clicking one button on the list. As you can see, the graphical interface also supported. And, of course, the display supports mouse and interaction with the guest operating system. VVCP is available for everyone, free of charge. I wanted to create a single application, not a whole operating system or distribution, because the Beehive technology is available out of the box on any free BSD systems. Also I wanted something easy, without sacrifice multipurpose usage, so I'm running BVCP almost every machine that I have, and make it possible to launch virtual machine anytime, anywhere. This software is running independently from the operating system, also there is no option to manage the host machine from this software, unlike some other appliances does. And I'm happy with it, to not sacrifice security. I wanted a software which is not deny me to doing my own things inside the operating system, but let me have easily manage my virtual machines. Thanks for watching.